Hi, I'm Sharia Shavon. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and configure VNC server for minimal Ubuntu Mate desktop in Ubuntu 16.04. Let's get started. First, I'm going to update my package repository cache with sudo apt-get update. Now I'm going to install very minimal version of Ubuntu Meta Desktop. So do I have to get install Meta Desktop environment core? Yes. It should take a while, so I'll get back when it's done. The installation is complete. Now I'm going to install VNC server with sudo apt-get install vnc4 server. Okay, it's complete. Now I'm going to set up a password for the current user using VNC passwd. This is the password that you use to log into VNC server. Okay, now I'm going to start the VNC server with VNC server colon 1. Now I'm going to kill the VNC server with VNC server kill colon 1. Now I'm going to edit the VNC configuration file, which is on .vnc x startup. Now for meta desktop, we have to add a line here. Don't forget to put an ampersand there. Save it. And now I'm going to start the VNC server again. Okay. Now we can connect to the VNC server with uh, any VNC client we want. First, I'm going to check what IP address my machine is configured with. You can see that it's 192.168.10.66. If you don't have IP config available, you can use IP editor show, which should give you the same result. Now I'm going to open up my VNC client. You can see that's working. So if you don't like this terminal coming up every time you log into the server, you can easily remove that. So I'm going to kill the VNC server again. And I'm going to open the VNC configuration file. Let's just comment out this line and this terminal should not pop up anymore. Start the VNC server again. You can see that the terminal is not here. You can see that VNC config dialog. If you close that Clipboard sharing won't work, so you cannot copy paste any text from your computer to this machine. 
but it's also annoying that it's always open like that the good thing is that we can hide it it's very easy so I'm gonna go to my terminal and hide that thing so I'm gonna kill the VNC server again and open up the configuration file and on the line VNC config just add a parameter no win and save it start the VNC server again and you're good to go now you can see that this dialog is not here and if we try to copy and paste things You can see that it's working. One more thing, if you want your VNC server to start when your machine boots or when you restart your computer, you have to add it to cron tab. So to open cron tab, type cron tab E. I'm gonna select nano. And at the end of this file, type at the rate of reboot, and VNC server colon one. Of course, if you want to change the resolution of your VNC server, you can do so with a geometry option. For example, let's say I want 1024 by 768 pixel of resolution, I can do so like that. Now save that file and you're good to go. Next time you reboot, it's all gonna work. So that's it for this video, please subscribe my channel if you like what I do and visit my website www.linuxeveryday.com and thank you for watching.